Um, the first step that you want to do, so I got my chamber. I'm going to pull this thing out. Um, all you got to do is just dump your wood in. So I got a couple of these blanks for the bangles. And then uh, in this bag, I got a couple of uh, a couple pieces of uh, mountain mahogany. It's a new local material that I've been using for uh, pens and bangle blanks and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, with this cactus juice, you can actually reuse it. So when you get it, I bought a gallon of it, and it comes with a catalyzing a bottle of catalyst, basically. Um, and so it's uncatalyzed in the gallon form. Uh, before you use it. So you need to dump this into the thing and shake it around. Now I've already done that with this. Now when you buy small, some of the smaller uh, sizes, it's already pre-catalyzed so you don't have to worry about it. But when you, if you buy this stuff, make sure you know if it's catalyzed or not. If it's catalyzed also, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a, a shorter shelf life. Um, so I've pretty well gone through this. Now the thing is though, you see all these? This is all stabilizing resin. When you dump it in, not all of it gets, uh, you know, absorbed into the wood. You have some left over, and you can reuse it. So that's one of the nice things. I've actually had this for, I've gone through probably about ten stabilization, you know, processes, and I still have stuff left. So it's nice. Get that stuff going. So second step is just dump in your resin. Like I said, you want to cover your materials. Uh, about an inch above them uh, and the reason you're doing that is because when when you're when you pull all the, the air out of the inside of the wood you're gonna want to release uh, the pressure a little bit and what's gonna happen is the resin is gonna be sucked into the pores of the wood and so your level drops you want to keep them covered the whole time so if you keep it about an inch above uh, you should be pretty good Oh, I forgot. So I'm going to put the gloves on. I need to, with this uh, tube, uh, you get a, a little grate that you just kind of jam in there and it keeps the wood from floating. I forgot to put it in. Keep it all down. All right, so I got a little bit more resin to do here. There we go. All right, so now all you do is you just put the lid on. Uh, you got a, a bleeder valve here, so um, off the bat, I leave it kind of open when I plug this in. Uh, one thing to keep in mind. If you're going to be running a, a one of these vacuum pumps, it's pretty loud. So you, you might want to do it somewhere where it maybe won't bother you as much, but I'll leave that up to you. Mine's pretty loud. It's just going to, i got to run it uh, in my shop. So before I turn it on, actually, I want to mention that uh, you're going to probably leave this in here for, I, it usually takes me about 30 minutes to an hour give or take, uh, depending on the material type. So 